some days are good days. Some days are Some days are bad days. Some days. Some days are Tombo Tuesdays. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Peter, and thank you for joining me. I have an important announcement. First of all, um, before I get into it, I want to say, and uh, well, let me just say it. The announcement is that I am going to go ahead and make another video. And this is it. This video happens to be in the category of Tombow Tuesday. And uh, you might have noticed that from the intro. It's pretty exciting and I have to sneeze. I did have to sneeze. Less exciting. Anyways, um, Tombow Tuesday. I uh, hope you all are as thrilled as I am. Today we're going to be looking at this pen called a Tombow Air Press. Check that out. Pretty exciting. It's still in the original packaging here, as you can see. Um, it looks high tech. Um, I should say how much it was to fully inform you. Did anyone else notice? Um, I didn't put a link to that Muji pen after I after I reviewed it, but I think I bought it for fifteen dollars, and then I went to buy another one because uh, I wanted to stock up, and they were like twenty twenty one twenty two dollars later. Uh, it looks like this pen was just under ten dollars, between nine and ten dollars. And now, obviously, all right, let's get into this. Um, it says. The Tombow Airpress Pen, ballpoint pen with pressurizing technology. Works even upside down or on wet paper. And then down here it says click it and write wherever you like. Fast writing in every position on wet paper. Ink color black. 0.7 millimeter ball equals fine. Pretty exciting. There's some information on the back, all in other languages besides English. Looks like we got uh, French, German, Dutch, Portuguese, and Romanian. I guess pretty much all the same stuff here in, in those languages. Uh, can't figure out how to figure out how to open this. Oh, that that was it. Out it slides. Right now, I definitely cannot tell if it's really cool and useful or gimmicky. It's definitely uh, pretty much made of mostly plastic. Everything I'm touching so far is plastic, uh, except for this metal clip right here. I think this is metal. Looks like there might be a metal spring in there. I can't take any of this apart. Oh, this unscrews. That doesn't, this doesn't come out though. I'll screw it back in. This doesn't unscrew. This does make an interesting noise. When it unpops, it goes kaplook. Do you hear that? Packaging materials, recycled paper, and pet. I'm trying to figure out like what's the big deal here. Also, what I don't understand about this is in what situations are people writing upside down or on wet paper? Maybe these people are out there, but I personally have never been in a situation where I was, you know, writing on something like this. And then I thought, why isn't my pen working? 
because I was never in a situation where I was writing on something like this. But maybe I never put myself in that situation because I already knew that my pen would struggle. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is to that. Same thing with writing on wet paper. Even if this could write on wet paper, and it may be able to, in fact, we should probably try. I don't know if I'd want to do a whole drawing like that, but we'll try it. I feel like the paper would start to disintegrate, depending on the paper. You know, it's still a metal nib. I don't know if I want to lead the kind of life where I find myself in soggy paper situations so consistently that I need a special pen just for that. But for some people, it may be unavoidable. So this might be the pen for them. All right, here's a post-it note, which I like using to test things out. Test. All right, it's um, right off the bat, it's not super satisfying the way it writes. It's like a Bic pen. Uh, but worse, as far as line consistency and satisfaction. You want to see, look, here's a Bic pen. Uh, where's a Bic pen? Oh, I have one right here. Oh, here's a Bic pen. Of course, this is a, a medium, okay? Actually, it seems about the same, except that this... Big pen is slightly thicker because it's a medium and this is fine, right? But I don't enjoy this too much. It's just like, I don't know, there's just, why? It's just like, well, I don't know. What's the big deal? All right, now we should try wetting the paper. I happen to have a spray bottle right here. So we will dump a little on there. And see if we can draw a line from one corner to the other. All right, it's working. It's working here. What do you guys think? Sorry, I'm kind of drawing crappy lines because uh, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the camera, but I mean, it's working. It's definitely drawing lines. I think it's because, I think it's because it's pressurized or some other reason. Now let's try the Bic pen, see if it works. The, the paper is getting soggier. The big pen does seem to be struggling. Let's go back to this. Um, the pen tip is pretty much fully submerged here. My name is some. I'm pretty much drawing in a puddle, and it does seem to be working, right? So I'll give it that much. It works. It's doing what it advertised. It draws anywhere. I mean, it, it works slightly less well, all right? It's starting to struggle now. But, like, for one deal, I mean, it's still working, though. Just not terrifically. Maybe should I, should I click it and unclick it again so it, like, pressurizes? What do you guys think? What's the consensus here? See, look, it's definitely a better out of the water. I feel like paper just isn't designed to be drawn. It's the, I feel the paper is the problem here. It's too soggy. All right, now I should try, um, um, drawing, Like this, which I'm just gonna have to take my word for. 
I feel like there, it would take a while before this stopped working with the regular pen. Let me see how long it takes. Wait, let me get this working again. Okay, let me see how long it takes before this stops working like this. All right, I mean, like a regular Bic pen is going on for a pretty long amount of time. All right, and it has stopped, all right? This is how much scribbling, like pretty much all of this right here is how much scribbling the regular Bic pen took. Now let's try it with the pressurized pen. Hang in there. Bear with me. I feel like that was more. Right? Here's the pressurized Tombow. How do you guys say that? Tombow? Tombow? And this is regular. And this is regular. So, I mean, I think it does, kind of. Pretty much, I mean, as far as these experiments go, it pulls through on its promises. But I still don't like it because it's an unsatisfying, like, like ballpoint pen that doesn't... I mean, look, I, I've always been a big proponent of the fact that you can get a lot done with ballpoint pens and Bic pens, right? Like, people do incredible things with these. I will never deny that. And you don't need expensive art supplies to do art. You should never not draw because you don't have, like, nice art supplies, right? But this is, like, a nice art supply that still draws like a cheap one, somehow. With, like, a couple of weird superf superf superfluous uh, features that feel like most artists don't need. Maybe this is like really a, to a utilitarian thing. Uh, you know, maybe like, like people working in upside down sewage systems need these. Maybe this isn't really intended for artists at all. Of course, you know, maybe I, I'm totally, as is pretty often the case, maybe I'm totally missing the point. It could be, all right? I don't know. Is it bad that I don't really want to draw a picture with this? Is that, it's like I feel like, I don't really want to. I kind of just want to move on to the next pen. Is that okay? Just move on to the next video, find one that I like and draw a picture with it. I don't have to draw a pic picture with every pen, do I? No, you know, I will not be guilted into art. So, I just don't feel like drawing with this pen. Take that as you will. All right, so thank you for joining me today for this Tombow Tuesday. I know you may not be watching this on a Tuesday. I know I may not have even published it on a Tuesday, but time zones are a weird thing. So we all know it's Tuesday somewhere. Thank you for joining me and uh, hope you have a good day. Stay tuned, subscribe, you know, I'll, sub I'll, I'll uh, review some more pens. Let me know if there is a, you know, like an interesting pen out there you know of that you think I should review and hopefully draw with. Drawing with it isn't the ultimate form of, you know, like it's a good pen, but I just, sometimes you don't want to draw with a pen. This is one of them. It does look pretty cool, you know? You gotta admit it does look pretty cool. You gotta admit it does look pretty cool with those little, you know, moving parts. I like pens with clear bodies and stuff, but it just doesn't really do it for me. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Goodbye, everyone. This is Peter. Signing off. Until next time. All right, so goodbye. And so long and farewell. And I'll see you in a future video. So until then, uh, take it easy and uh, have a good day. And you should go find a pen that you want to draw with, okay? It doesn't need to be a nice pen. All right, so see you later. Everyone have a good one. Have a good weekend, you know. Maybe be safe out there. All right. All right, so.
There's bubbles coming out of my candle. Oh, they went away. There was bubbles coming up out of there. Is that normal? All right. All right, see y'all. Oh, I just spilled a bunch of wax on myself. And on the desk. All right, see y'all later. This is all the time when I normally would have been drawing, but you know, I'm just like using all the drawing time to say goodbye. I miss y'all. You know, all the time, all the times when you're not watching my videos, all the times in between my videos, you wonder where I am. I wonder where you are. It's difficult, but right now, here, in this moment, we're here for each other, and that's what's important. All right, bye.